Thank you. Justice Nicholas McNally was born in Gibraltar in December, on December 22, 1931, and moved with his parents to the then Federation of Rhodesia as a young boy. He had his education in Grahamstown in South Africa. After graduating with law degrees, he started his career as a diplomat for the Federation. There are four distinguishing features in Justice McNally. One, a distinguished human rights lawyer. As an advocate, Nicholas McNally worked together with Sidney Kendrick, a distinguished human rights advocate from South Africa. And together, they defended human rights activists persecuted under the dra draconian laws of the then Southern Rhodesia. In almost all cases, the Br British Privy Council reversed the verdicts passed by the Rhodesian High Court, which acted from dictates of the Smith government that had unilaterally declared independence for Southern Rhodesia. Despite the reversals by the British Council, the accused were executed under the Rhodesian laws. Second, a political activist and a strong believer in non-racialism. When McNally was not defending victims of political prosecutions, he was busy advocating for non-racialism in Rhodesia. To the extent that he was instrumental for forming the Sender Party, which fought a whites-only elections under the non-racial ticket, again because of the prevailing racial politics in the country, his party failed very, fared very poorly in the elections of 1974. Third, a devout Catholic. McNally was a strong supporter of the Catholic Commission for Justice and Peace a body which strongly opposed the laws which gave government officials, ministers, and security forces indemnity for all crimes they committed, provided they acted bona fide in the belief that they were suppressing terrorism. Fighters in the liberation struggle were victims of this law. On civil issues, McNally was one of active Catholics that spearheaded this establishment of the Catholic University of Zimbabwe. Finally, McNally, the judge. On his appointment as judge of the High Court of Zimbabwe, McNally soon distinguished himself in the judgments that he penned. He had already become prominent in the acquittal of Kekere, a leader in the liberation struggle, when together with Louis Bloom Cooper, QC, they succeeded despite bitter opposition from Ian Smith. McNally's judicial acumen and independence of mind were demonstrated when, as judge in independent Zimbabwe, he twice rebuked Robert Mugabe and his government for undermining the rule of law. Upon his retirement in 2001, he was appointed to the High Court in Botswana, where he served for a number of years. He died aged 89 years on the 23rd of January 2021 in Johannesburg, South Africa, where he had finally retired. <laughs>